Hello brothers, hello sisters, good morning, how are you today? Good morning from the city of Abuja, Nigeria. Where are you joining me from? Please let me know where you're joining me from. You're welcome to the prophetic born and altar. And uh, the Lord has given me great messages to give to you. The Lord has given me great prophecies to give to you. The Lord has given me a prayer to pray for you this morning. And the Lord is going to surprise you this week in the mighty name of Jesus. For those who uh, you believe that uh, December has come, the year has come to an end, you haven't seen anything. Just chill. Be still and know that He is God over your life. He's going to bring the, uh, the, 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 the bottom pot blessings to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So this morning I was speaking about the reason why your destinies attack great attacks. It attracts great attack. If you have a great destiny, it's like a, a magnet to the devil. It's like a magnet to greater attacks because they do not want to see anything great. You need to fight. And that's when I'll be making reference to Joseph in the book of Genesis chapter 37. From verse 1, Genesis chapter 37, from verse 1, and we shall read to... I think the story was talking about seven verse one Joseph lived in a land where his father had stayed, the land of Canaan. Jacob lived in a father, I beg your pardon, where his father had stayed in the, the land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob's family. Let's move to verse, verse nine. Verse nine. Mm -hmm. From verse 5, it said, Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brother, they hated him all the more. He said to them, listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field, when suddenly my sheep rose and stood upright, while your sheep scattered around mine and bowed to it. His brother said to him, verse 8, do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he said. His own brothers hated him just because he had a dream. He had a dream. A dream that he was going to be great. His own brothers started to hate the name. You read down the story, you know how he was uh, killed. Uh, how he was almost killed. I beg your pardon, how he was dropped in the well. Almost killed, left to staff until the divine intervention of one of his brothers. And he was sold to the Egyptian traders. And fast forward, Joseph became the prime minister, and his brothers came to buy from him. The dream came to pass. I am telling you this morning, because you went to the church, we'll give you prophecy, we'll tell you God is about to do things in your life. When the Lord showed me anything, I don't hold it back. I say it. Everything the Lord showed to me, I say it. Okay? I say everything the Lord said to me. So it is left for you to know that speaking that into manifestation, because you will achieve that, you need to fight. As a prophet, I speak it into manifestation. I make you know this is what is ahead of you. What do you need to do? You need a fight. Okay? You just need a fight. Great destinies don't, don't, don't just happen that way. It do not just happen. You need to fight to get it. You need to fight to get it done. You need to pray. You need to fast. You need to be careful people you share your information with. You need to be careful people you tell where you're going to, where you're coming from, what you do, what you eat, your wife, your family. You need to be secretive about many things. But you need to pray. You need to fast. You need to study the word. You need to live a righteous life if you want God to help you to achieve everything that's written about you. And the good that the Lord is going to help you achieve everything that's written about you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your destiny then it shall not be truncated. It will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. No demon from the pit of hell shall stop you in the mighty name of Jesus. No witch, no satanic agents, no demonic agent shall stop you from fulfilling everything the Lord has, Lord has written concerning you in the mighty name of Jesus. What I speak to one, I speak to all. All of you that have prophecies upon your life and they have been delayed, I decree that the Lord will help you fulfill them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help you fulfill them in the mighty name of Jesus. When you free, read the book of Genesis chapter 37 from verse 1 to the end and give yourself wisdom, give yourself knowledge, give yourself sense, okay? Read that. Read about Joseph. Read about Jabez. Read about Daniel. Read about David. You want to be great? Read about Esther. You need to fight for the Lord to help you. 
You need to stay home in life. You need to fight. When I say fight, I need to you need to live a righteous life. You need to pray. You need to fast. You need to study the word. You need to draw closer to God. Lord, that when you draw close to Him, He will draw close to you. And when you're close to the Lord, who's gonna hurt you? Nobody's gonna hurt you. Just like He gave permission to Job, but the devil could touch him, but he couldn't take his life. The Lord will not let him take your life. You will manifest. You will achieve everything the Lord has written concerning you. You must succeed in life in the mighty name of Jesus. So know that when prophets tell you whatever that is going to happen in your life, greater things, you're going to travel to such a place, you're going to be uh, married, you're going to have children, you're going to have this. Those are prophecies. The devil will fight them. Once they say it, it's better the Lord show you in the dream than for a prophet like me to tell you. Okay? It's not the demons from me. It's the demon from you that are going to fight that. It's the witches from the world that are going to fight that. So when a prophecy has been spoken, use your prayer to back it up. Use your righteous life to back it up. Use Jesus Christ to back it up for you to fulfill it in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is what I want to share with you this morning. And I know that this is going to sink into you. I know that the Holy Spirit is going to help you digest it. I know the Holy Spirit is going to make you the doer of this word that has been read from the book of Genesis chapter 37 this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. You will succeed in destiny. I decree that this new you shall be blessed. This December you shall be blessed. Greater doors are opening upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Greater doors are open about you in the mighty name of Jesus, you will fulfill destiny. You will fulfill destiny. You will fulfill that great destiny of yours in the mighty name of Jesus. You do have a great week. May the God uh, that we serve cause his face to shine upon you. May the oil of favor be upon you this day. You shall go and go back home. You shall go out to work, go out to your business meetings and return back home without being hurt, without an accident in the mighty name of Jesus. Shalom, peace be unto you.